Steel Dive, with its homage to the iconic Submariner, introduces the turquoise diver, a masterpiece of affordability without compromise. Yes, this watch is not just a fashion statement, it's a testament to smart luxury, where functional elegance meets fiscal prudence. In a sea of high-end luxury timepieces that command the eye-watering prices, there emerges a beacon of the budget-conscious yet style-savvy collector. Priced at just $70, this Steel Dive Talkers Diver doesn't just aim to mimic its prestigious counterpart, it aims to democratize the premium watch experience. It boasts a stainless steel case and bracelet, a sapphire crystal face resistant to the scuffs of daily wear, and a dependable self-winding automatic movement, features often reserved for watches with much heftier price tags. This is the quintessence of accessible luxury. The true charm of this watch, however, lies in its stunning turquoise sunburst dial and the sky-blue ceramic bezel, evoking images of clear skies and crystalline waters. Wearing this watch conjures summer vibes, reminiscent of leisurely beach walks and refreshing dips in the sea. A perfect companion for the season. To be fair, this steel dive here is the SD1953. I think we all know this model number by now. Well, if we don't, we should, because the SD1953 has its own following. There are a number of different dial faces, bezel variations, and I think there was one before in 23 which was released. It had the turquoise dial and a black bezel. Well, this one is all turquoise, and it's a 24 model. So this is brand new to the market, and it works. It looks so nice. But it's not just the nice looking watch, it's the premium materials that we get on this watch and how it's all put together. So for 70 bucks we can get a very nice piece. Now I've left the link to this piece in the description below the video, check it out if you're interested in getting a sharp price. I find that Steel Dive is steadily carving a niche for itself in the dive watch market offering an irresistibly priced gateway to the dive watch lifestyle. This piece isn't just a budget-friendly option, it's a testament that great style and quality can indeed be had at any price point, honoring its classic inspirations while charting its own course in the world of horology. With regards to the dimensions, we get a diameter of 40.5 mm, a lug to lug length of 53 mm due to the protruding male end links, a height of 13 mm without the cyclops and 14.2 with it, a lug width of 20 mm tapering down to 16 at the clasp. The weight is 170 grams before removing any links to fit my 6.5 inch wrist. Considering the largish lug to lug length, I still find the watch comfortable on my rather slender wrist. As I gaze down, the bright and at the same time contained turquoise blue brings a smile to my dial. It's a positive type of watch. As they say, happy thoughts, happy life. The square profile is reminiscent of the inspiration to this watch, blunt and to the point, yet elegant and robust. Looking at the profile, we note the flat surface of the tall flank, stretching from lug to lug. The polished finish is clear of any imperfections. The reflections are even and consistent. The transition to the brush lug hoods is achieved by smooth and refined bevels. There are simply no sharp edges on this case. The bezel is plastered on top of the case, the edge is rounded and polished. Yet the threading grooves are deep and notchy to allow plenty of grip for convenient rotation of the bezel. The sky blue ceramic insert is more matte than glossy, leaving the shine to the sunburst dial. The 0 to 60 minute markings on the bezel are printed in white. These are actually loomed and complement the dial's luminosity with a backup of blue light on the perimeter of the watch. On the right we face the traditionally semi-guarded screw and crown. 6.2 mm in diameter make it stand tall and hefty, convenient for date and time adjustment even if gloved. The tip is signed with the Steel Dives logo. Flip the watch over and see the screw down case back signed and engraved with the brand logo and specs on the perimeter. Before we start discussing the bracelet, the crystal, the dial, let me actually show you the bezel rotation. So let me show you the bezel action on this thing. You will be impressed. The notchy tread allows for a grippy hold of the grooves. The resistance is felt instantly. This is a real diver with function and practicality in mind. Accidental knocks won't make the bezel skip any beats. The clicks are very distinct and sharp, metal-on-metal metal ratchet is a joy to hear. 
Resistance is consistent throughout the rotation cycle. Every click is precise in terms of positioning. Once in place, there is hardly any backplay. In fact, it's close to none. And now to the bracelet. The five link design of the bracelet is quite intricate in terms of styling. The wide outer links are brushed while the center links are polished. It does appear that it's more of a sporty bracelet rather than for dress up. The link articulation is great, so is the fluidity. Yet there are visible gaps between links and that in turn affects the tolerances, which are okay at best on this bracelet. The polished clasp has the steel dive emblem to release the security latch. The fold of a wing is milled, polished and signed. So to be fair, Steel Dive does not disappoint in terms of the bracelet. Now the tolerances, yeah, it does feel like the bracelet is a bit stretchy, but that's what I mean. For a sporty look, I think that's fine. So this design should drape your wrist very comfortably. The link articulation is good, the fluidity is good, but yeah, the tolerances, they are a bit smudged. The flat slab of sapphire crystal is treated with anti-reflective coating. The sapphire cyclops at 3 o'clock magnifies the day to at least two and a half times, filling up the magnification frame edge to edge. The brush we hoe drops us to the main stage, a turquoise sunburst dial. The sunburst effect is somewhat muted though, yet lively enough to accommodate interesting light play. The mini track is printed on the periphery of the dial, the indices are edged in chrome and dab with loom. Mercedes style hands and lollipop seconds pointer follow suit. Legibility is not compromised during light hours. The contrast is good all around. Now let's perform a loom test to examine legibility after dark. This bright loom is spectacular in terms of brightness and longevity. The bezel luminosity makes for a beautiful ensemble of loomed elements. The pattern is nice. The longevity here is pretty much spectacular. It just goes on and on. In regards to the movement, no surprises. Japanese self-winding automatic, the NH35A. What that means is that we are getting 24 joules, 21,600 beats per hour. And that in turn means that there is a fluid second sweep here. So six pulses per second of the second's hand. Also, we get 42 hours of power reserve. We do get the magic lever here, and that is pretty cool. So let's say your watch has stopped. All you do is you shake it side to side, and boom, the watch starts moving, which is great. And that is called the magic lever. So 70 bucks, this is what this watch will cost you. I think it's a fair price for something that looks as elegant, interesting, and unique. The color here, this is what matters. And of course, everything else is nice, but the color, that's what I like most. Again, 70 bucks, stainless steel, sapphire crystal, automatic, dependable automatic, mind you. Yeah, not a bad price. The link is in the description below the video, so check it out if you're interested in picking up this watch. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.